Welcome to a tips and tricks video. So today we're going to look at how to weave in uh, your ends. So I've just got a small sample here. I think this is the extended uh, US single UK double crochet. So um, when I sew in or weave in the ends, whichever you like to call it, I do it into the back of the work. Yeah. So you're going to take a darning needle. Now, if you've made your ends too small, um, that you can't then turn and put the needle in. What I do is I put the needle in where I want it to go and then I thread the yarn on. Yeah, so you're going to go into the back of the work and we're going to go along the back of all those stitches. Yeah, we're going to go along yeah. and then we're going to pull that through. Yeah. Now, when we, we're going to go back over, we're going to skip that first bit that we came out of, Yeah, because otherwise we're just going to take it back out again. And again, you're going to go along all those stitches. We're not going to go all the way to where we went in. We're going to stop short, pull that back. Yeah. And I'm going to turn the work a third time and go back along. So I'm gonna go under there. So again, I'm not going in where I came out. I'm gonna go over, pull that along, and then pull the needle through. So to now cut that yarn, how I like to do it, is I'm gonna pull it tighter. Yeah, and then we can cut the yarn and then pull that like so, and it's hidden. So when you come to the front of the work, you can't see the um, the yarn where it's been woven in. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.